more small format die machines. Unboxing the Cut and Make, which was 25 quid from the range. Right, the box, instructions, die, embossing folder, the machine itself, and plates, No marks on the plates to tell you what they are, although one is thicker than the other. There's no embossing mat. So let's try out and see what happens. Glass plate. Okay, that seems to be all right. So my assumption, certainly for cutting, is that the sandwich is the thick plate. The die. The paper which is a 160 gram sketch paper, I think, or 120, and then one of the thinner plates. But I'll check that in the instructions. Die cut layers, ah, thin plate, paper or card, die, cutting side down, thick plate. Okay, so well, I've got it upside down. Turn it the right way around. Check again. Thin plate, die, paper or card, die and thick plate. Yep. Well, that's a comforting click. Hmm. But it hasn't totally cut it. We'll come back to that in a minute. It has made a nice mark on the plate, needless to say. Embossing is with two thin plates. Quicks is a job. Piece of card. Two thin plates. Let's give that a go. Well, that's actually really quite nice, if you like butterflies. And the, but the butterfly die seems to match one of the butterflies on the sheet when we get it cut out. So I'm going to try cutting again. So thick plate, and this time I'll put a piece of card below the die, then the die cutting side up. Then another piece of card to cut. So I've got a card acting as a piece of shim. The cutting plate with a butterfly on. I'll turn round in order to even out the wear on that plate. Second time. And that indeed looks a lot better. Yeah. Some of the bits are coming out already. And of course, I've not got my pokey tool. 
Stick with the pokey tool. And a bit of fine poking out. And putting it on the embossing, that seems to do match. Yeah, not bad. Right, pause. I try and get with another die that's not too challenging. This is one of the new X cut dies that are the very small ones. So, a plate die. Paper, B plate, turning it around a different way. Let's see what happens. Another satisfying crunch. And this die is meant to have a leaf emboss, slight leaf embossing which it does. Another X-cut die. The cupcake, which can be a bit of a pain. So in this one, let's get the sandwich right. I think I will put a shim. Then the die, then the paper. Then the cutting plate. And wow! That seems to have done that quite nicely, in fact. Well, it will when I get it out with a proper pokey tool. Just a minute. I'll do it with a serious pokey tool. And all the bits are coming out quite nicely. I guess the next question is... What about if, will it work with a silicone mat to emboss a die? So, pause while I get a nip die, an embossing bit. This die is meant to emboss. So, thick plate. Dye paper, looking for a bit of this that I haven't yet cut, and run it through. Right, stage one. Now, stage two would be to replace the A plate with a B plate. And I'm going to turn that over. No. Put the cutting mat down. Put the die. No. Put the die back into the Start with a B plate, or a thin plate. Put the paper back into the die. Put the rubber mat on top. Then put the other thin plate, roll it through. Hmm. 
doesn't feel as though it's done much. There wasn't much pressure there. But yes, it has. I don't know if you can see, it's got a nice little decorated edge. So, okay. Um, its nearest rival would be the Baby Blue. It does seem to have all the capabilities. I put my Baby Blue through quite a lot of tough work, so that, and it's actually come through. Um, I, the other die, machine, die cutting machines are the Prism. Well, just let me show you. Here's the prism. Okay, what happened? Um, well, I must admit it was my fault. I put um, it was the, the sandwich I made was just too thick for the machine. And my die, there was a crunchy sound, the, the handle just turned round freely and I just couldn't get anything out. I tried shoogling, I tried everything to get the die out and it wouldn't, even though it was a cheap die. And then I looked at YouTube and saw disassembly of a prism. Somebody, this has obviously happened to somebody else. And I don't know if you can see there, the, this, the teeth have come off this and this cog. What I did manage to do was very carefully by winding it backwards and moving this a bit I was able to get the die out of this assembly and rescue it. Um, I may well contact Prism uh, Spellbinders to see if I can get replacement gears. It seems not to be an uncommon problem. So um, it was doing quite nicely until the big crunch. So that's the prism. As for the diamond press, six months later and several cards. It does still work. It will emboss quite nicely, but I have made a real mess of some of these um, folders and as you can see it's not been used a great deal but I used, tried to use a die that was too thick on this one I think and it just got stuck and I had a, a heck of a job to get it out. This one was used a bit more and I tested it yesterday with one of the dies that came with the machine and did manage to cut it. I didn't try that one, it doesn't seem to work. And this one was a brand new folder. The first die I cut, cut all right. The second die I cut got stuck, although not hugely stuck, it was, I could actually wind it back. But then I gave up and went on to the baby blue. You can see there, there should be six pieces of jigsaw. There are four. So, okay. The Baby Blue, I reckon, is still by far the best if you can get it on special offer. Go for it. I've yet to give a long-term test to the Cut and Make from the range. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh, and by the way, the Prism's instructions are word for word exactly the same as the Spellbinder's Sapphire, excepting that the pictures are different. Interesting. The diamond press, okay for small jobs. You get what you pay for. If you want to pay £15 for a die cutting machine from the range and be prepared only to have small dies and to spend more money on folders, then it's okay. £25, certainly at the moment, for this one does seem to be the better value. It's, again, got more adaptability than the prism. Anyhow, that's all for now. Enjoy your die cutting. Bye.